Vingdiaphone, a uh, Street Fighter guy, he made a pretty interesting video as well on uh, is Tekken a difficult game? Um, and he was he was demonstrating this with with Victor. Um, which is funny considering how much I've discussed uh, Victor. But he basically said, is it really a difficult game considering I can just... Yeah, Diaphone is super cool. I can just press the 2 button and win. Is this really a difficult game? But the, the, the reality is that the true difficulty of this game begins when you run into the player that ducks that block. As soon as you run into that player, you, you just do this mash shit, but as soon as you run into the player that ducks that block, you're dead. And you're beyond dead. Like, this is, I talked about this plateau yesterday, and it's like, it's the wake-up call for all spammers. You use the easy mode character, uh, and it's extra easy now because he's a newcomer, no one knows the matchup, Tekken characters are very complicated and complex. And you just mash everyone to death like this, and you get a ton of free wins. But as soon as you find yourself in those ranks, you're surrounded by killers, and they know your matchup, biggest cold shower in any fighting game. You have no skill, you have no fundamentals, you know no matchups, all you knew was to press one button, and this is when you quit the game. Because suddenly you're surrounded by all these people, they know your matchup, they know every single matchup in the game, and they're better than you at the game. And suddenly you, you go from winning all the time, and now you can't get a single win. And you quit the game. Yeah. It's the biggest uh, plateau you can do in any fighting game. Because Tekken allows you to mash a ton. It's, a, it's very scrubby, this game, at first. Because of how, how, how hard it is to deal with mash in this game. It is very hard. Like, uh, again, 30 characters, biggest roster, uh, biggest move lists. You, you can mash a lot in Tekken. But if you rely on mash instead of learning the game, once you find yourself in the high ranks, you're gonna quit the game. You took the shortcut, and then when you realize the shortcut isn't working anymore, and you're, you now have to learn the game, and you have to learn it at Mighty Ruler, surrounded by killer players, you're not, you're not gonna do that. It's the most demoralizing thing in the world. Because now it's, instead of win, 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 it's lose, 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 lose. Whereas the guy that didn't take the shortcut, say the, your humble Jin guy, right? He said, you know what? It kind of sucks. I don't like it, but I'm going to take the advice I've heard. I'm going to block more. I'm just in green ranks, but you know what? I'm going to try and block more and I'm going to learn and I'm going to try and punish. And this is going to be frustrating at fuck for a long time because everyone's just going to mash you to fucking death. And you're gonna be like, why did I stop mashing? It felt so good, I got W's. But no, you're doing the right thing. You're learning, and with time you will surpass the mashers easily. And you are not gonna have the super awful 200 miles an hour plateau into a brick wall. You, you're gonna take it nice and slow. It's gonna suck losing to mashers. But as you're learning, you're gonna win quite a bit. Hopefully it will be more of a 50-50. Or let's say you lose a bit more. You lose 60% of your matches. But hopefully you're still winning 40% of your matches. And you keep a good mindset and you say, Yeah, fuck, I lost that match. But damn, did you guys see my duck into wild stunning too? I ducked that high and I did my combo. You can focus more on that stuff. Feel good about that stuff. It's gonna do so much for you. So yeah. Remember also, it can make you feel a bit better about yourself also that Yeah, I just lost that fucking Alyssa Masher But you know what, that Alyssa Masher, one day, he's gonna find himself in ranks where He's not gonna win a single fucking match And he's gonna quit the goddamn game Or every set, or every set he plays He's gonna go Oh, oh shit, this guy knows my tricks and they cancel the rematch and then he tries to find someone else, and he's like, Oh no, this guy also knows the matchup, I, I can't win. He's, he's, he knows my character, I, I know fuck all about his character. And I can't download him, I, I don't have any real skill in this game. I have my tricks! I have my bag of tricks, a big bag. 
Random bullshit go. Uh, it didn't work. Shit. Uh, no, I'm, I lost. I'm not gonna rematch. Cancel. Cancel. Find next victim. You know how fucking miserable that is? Do you think those guys are having fun? They're just searching desperately for that ego boost they had at the start of their journey where they just won all the time. They fed this monster of an ego that said, I'm really good at Tekken. I'm not carried by bullshit spam. I, I'm a great Tekken player and they feed that ego. I'm, I'm, I'm actually unnatural. I'm winning all the time. But then they start losing all the time and it's, it's like a syntax error in their mind. And they need to find that win again and they need to continue the shortcut. Like, uh, I lost, uh, no cancel, no rematch. Uh, th this guy doesn't own the matchup. Ah, uh, 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 fun. And they stay and hopefully win. It's, it's, I hope I'm not sounding too condescending here, but those players, there's quite a few of them. And they stick with the game. Like, they, they played for years in Tekken 7, and it's like, I wonder if they're even having fun playing the game. But so that, that's what I don't want anyone to become. Like, it's so easy to start playing this game. You know, as a beginner, do you remember how much fun you had when you were just playing with your mates? Hopefully you have some friends, or you played online, and you were completely new, and you just, you just did shit, and you didn't care, and it's, it's fun. Oh, cool throw, whoa! That's fun. And you want to keep that for as long as possible. Because once you start going serious with a hardcore game like this, it's one of the hardest games in the world. Like, make no mistake, it just is. It re it's so easy for it to become miserable for you. When you go like, okay, I'm gonna apply myself. I'm, I'm actually now going to try and learn. And you block, you try and see openings, and, and your opponent is just mashing you to death like an idiot. It's going to feel awful. It can many times feel awful because, yet again, this is the fighting game where you can have a thousand hours in the game and someone with a hundred hours can beat you. That, that might sound like it's not going to happen, but I can assure you that you can play this game for a thousand hours and then a super rare character shows up, say Zafina, she's the least played in the game, She's the least played in the game, and she has the deadly combination of being a super tricky battle. matchup to learn. Anything she does almost, she just evades everything you do while counter hit launching you. Right? Like, very tricky. And this, this will happen to you. A 100 hour player can beat a 1000 hour player. And this is the, I don't think it happens to this extent in Street Fighter or Guilty Gear, etc. It's due to the complex nature of this game. There are just so many characters, and when characters are, have 100 to 200 attacks, it's just... Di this is the knowledge check nature of Tekken. And knowledge checks are 10 times more potent in this game compared to your average fighting game. And that's just the nature of Tekken. So I'm just trying to say that, as an intermediate, it can be very frustrating. But I just want people to, to try and remember why they started playing the game in the first place. And that this is a super fun game, but don't be too caught up in, did I win or not? But <laughs> easier said than done, obviously. But don't find yourself in that position where you're declining rematches all the time and you're just... You just want to win all the time and suddenly you're more miserable playing the game and you're having fun. It's a little bit like reevaluate the relationship with, you have with your girlfriend, you know, if, if you feel 80% of the time we're pretty fucking miserable and 20% of the time, it's okay. Re you reevaluate that and it's the exact same thing with the games you play You know what 80% of the time. I think Tekken is fucking miserable 20% oh, it's okay because I won 20% of my matches It's like That's not where you want to be, you know uh, And to me uh, To me, you know, I, I dabble with well, it's 
I guess my experience is very unique because this is my job now and I've been playing it for three decades. It's just that I just always find things to, to love about the game. It's like I, I love the characters I play. I absolutely love the characters I play. It's like e even taking a loss with Kazuya, I still have so much fun in the moment trying to outplay my opponent, trying to see what is he trying to do, and I get that crucial step into electric, and it's just, it's the most satisfying feeling in the world. Or he does something launch punishable, and I just electric him. Just small moments like that, I'm just like, it just feels so good. Or when you're in the, the other end of a knowledge check that this game is, when you come out on the other end, and you're like, you almost feel like a Harvard professor. And like the stuff you've learned, and someone tries to do the bullshit, uh, a Nina tries to spam the same bullshit all Ninas do, well, most Ninas do, and you just, oh, I've seen this before, duck, <laughs> twin piston. Oh, oh, you're trying that, step electric. And you just dismantle them, you dismantle their very existence. And you can almost see them go like, oh, what do I do now? And it's, uh, it's the best feeling in the world because it was so hard earned. It was so hard earned. It is just such a difficult game that when you have mastered it, it's just, uh, it's the best feeling in the world. And it, uh, it's such a fun game, in my opinion. Uh, well, that was a rant. <laughs>